Okay, so this video is going to be filmed in front of the window of my living room just because I'm hoping that the lighting will be a little bit better than what um, I go through in my room. So today's video is going to be on my top lip products and I made this video in the past um, but you know some, some things are the same and I've added a lot to my collection of favorites too. Um, my lighting is really weird right now and it's making me look really like pale like a ghost but whatever I'm hoping that you guys can see the swatches a little bit better in this area of my house so um, I'm gonna start out with my ultimate lip product which is Carmex and um, I like it in the tube instead of the jar just because it's like um, not as hard like in the jar it's kind of hard um, like the texture of it and this is easier to put on my lips this is everywhere this is in my bag this is in my room this is in my car um, like I have so many tubs of this and this is the only thing that I've found that's able to moisturize my lips enough so this is my favorite um, lip balm ever next I only use one type of lip liner even though I have tons of and this is max strip down liner and it's a very neutral um, kinda like a like a brownish pink color do a little swatch for you guys it's right there and this is no matter how dark or how light I'm going with my lips this goes with everything so that is my favorite lip liner next I'm gonna show you guys the lipsticks and first I'm gonna show you guys the ones I always carry in my bag no matter where I go so um, number one I'm sure you guys can guess it is going to be Myth by MAC and um, this one is almost gone it's a very concealer toned nude color um, there it is right there I just love this like it's the best lipstick ever for a like really really nude lip and it's also good for mixing um, I used this in my last video how to get fuller lips just on the center of your lips to kind of give you that like pouty look um, so it's good if you want to mix it with different colors or you know if you want a really really pale lip you can use it all over so that's you know my staple you guys know I talk about that all the time then I have um, Max Flesh Pot and this came out with the Heatherette collection and I just love the packaging like, come on look at that it's sparkly and pink and it's beautiful and um, this is a satin and it's actually very very similar to Myth but um, this one it's actually more drying than Myth which is not great this just has a little bit more of a peach tone that's this right there the one on top very very similar but um, if I put them on my lips honestly you would not be able to tell the difference between MAC and Flesh Pot they're very very similar next it is Blankety this one so so much and it is a really really nice natural light pink it's still a nude but it's pink it's not like a beige nude and that's that one right there and it you can see it's a lot darker than the other nudes right there but um, on the lips it's like kind of um, a pale baby pink color it's really really pretty so those are the lipsticks that I always carry in my bag and next I just have um, the ones that are on my dresser or in my makeup case that I reach for a lot um, in my living room so my neighbors are like looking at me weird so I'm gonna try and speed this up this one is um, by Avon and it is called sparkling cashmere and most of my colors are going to be really really nude because that's just what I like so that's this color right here and it's more of like an apricot um, toned pink so it has a little bit of orange in it and it's uh, very sparkly it's not a matte nude which is what everything I showed you before has um, no sparkles in it except for the one by Avon. I don't know. I've been like lately. I've been into more matte colors or um, like no sparkles or shimmery on the lips. You know, I don't like any of that lately. This one is um, very sexy lipstick by Victoria's Secret, and it is Whisper. And that is the color there. Mm, it's the last one right here 
and it's actually really, really similar to the one by um, Avon. Right? So, like I was saying, the last one is um, Very Sexy Lipstick by Victoria's Secret, and it is this one here. It is called Whisper. It is the one on the bottom, and it's very, very sparkly and shimmery, but it's um, a true pink, whereas the one by Avon is more apricot orangey. And then I have two more lipsticks, and that is Searce by um, NYX. And if you like moisturizing lipsticks, you should go for this one because it's so, so moisturizing. But since it is so moisturizing, it's not going to stay on your lips as long. So that's that color down at the bottom. A very, very nude color. Uh, lipsticks are only 99 cents, so... Um, might as well take a chance with it because it happens to be another one of my staples. So the last lipstick that I have is um, a satin by MAC and it is called Sis. And it's really different from any of the other colors that I have. That is what I have on right now. Here's a little swatch. And it's kind of like a terracotta color but it's still nude. But you can see everything on my hand is nude. It is that last color right there on the bottom. There's everything. And again, it's kind of like um, a tan terracotta beige color. Oh, one more I didn't see is um, my cheapest lipstick, which is like under a dollar, Wet n Wild 511B. And um, you can find this at any drugstore. I'm sure you guys all know about Wet n Wild. And this is a gorgeous, ew, it has a hair on it. Fuchsia, like bright ass fuchsia color. It's really nice when you want a dramatic look. So that's that color right there on the bottom. I haven't worn it in a while. Maybe I'll do a tutorial with this. Um, and then I just have some of my favorite lip glosses. I'm going to talk about it really quick because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I have the MAC Hello Kitty Pink Fish which is a tinted lip conditioner and it is very very moisturizing and it's kinda like a lip balm but it's like a bubblegum pink color so that's that and I'm sorry if I keep sniffling guys but I'm still sick um, I don't have to swatch it because that's the same exact color it comes out on your lips then I have NYX Smoky Look which is a nude pink this is a really nice color. That's this right here. Lip Tease and Undressed by Victoria's Secret and it has a little mirror on the side. And this is a little bit darker and it has a little bit of peach in it. It's like a pink peach color. So that's that right there. This one's really, really shiny, and it's like a lip plumper, so it um, like tingles on your lips, but it plumps them up a lot. And then my last two is going to be See Through by MAC. And it, girls, if you're looking for a really nude lip gloss with like no color at all, and you want it to um, kind of like take down the pigment in your lips without having to use a lipstick for that, like say you're only a lip gloss girl and you don't like using lipstick, you still want that nude look on your lips this will look at that one right there on the top it's so nude um, it will nude out your lips without having to use a concealer underneath or a really light lipstick if you don't have one um, lip glass by MAC and see through and last but not least I made a whole video on this it is the MAC um, Pro Longwear liquid lip color something like that and unchanging that has the lipstick on one side the liquid lipstick on one side and the gloss on the other side I did a complete video review on this the one where I have on no makeup color to blankety so um, those are all the colors and I will put the names in order that I did them on the side um, once I have time and that is it those are my top lip products what I reach for the most what I have in my bag with me at all times um, yeah so that is that thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time bye